Hi Annie. I'm Tim. Join me in this video as I show you where you get some very affordable micro RC radio control gear from the folks at Minimum RC. Let's get to it. I found Minimum RC just doing some uh, internet research. It's a company out of China. They produce some very interesting um, small uh, uh, radio control aircraft to include electric ducted fan jets. I built and test flew their BAE Hawk, one of their newer designs, it weighs about 1.7 ounces, three channels of control, very innovative building process, super lightweight. I built it in about two days. So let's take a quick look at the BAE Hawk a model that I flew, the test flight of that, and then we'll take a look at the Minimum RC website. This is the BAE Hawk from Minimum RC. I've built a lot of RC models in my time, but this is really a pretty unique one. Very lightweight, three channels, small servos, and an electric ducted fan. Went together in about two days. Now, let's take a look at one of the flights. Uh, it flew nicely. Uh, here's the launch. Plenty of power. It just moves right on out and turns and burns and just is a very fun airplane to fly. Note on the landing, due to the pusher of the jet, once you bring the engine to idle, it just quits flying. Very nice website for Minimum RC. Uh, the, the initial page with the various kits. Let's go up to electronics to see what's on sh store there. These are individual parts, receivers, batteries, transmitters. This is a um, ultra micro electronic pack. You can see that it's from uh, $48.64, depending what you select, uh, how many actuators, uh, other details, the price may go up slightly, but a very nice offering. I enjoy building a wide range of radio control model airplanes to include the smaller ones, and I'm always asked, where can I get the micro electronic uh, electronics for the smaller aircraft? There are various sources that I've got them. I've had other videos on that. I'll show a link here. I'd like to give you an update. Uh, this is being filmed in uh, June of 2024. It was a very affordable, interesting micro radio control electronics for the folks at Minimum RC. So to give you a preview, let's look at what I'll describe in this video. Everything you see here, the transmitter, four channel, 2.4 gigahertz technology, two actuators, which are very lightweight um, things that move the control surfaces instead of servos, a receiver with electronic speed control, a geared propeller, battery and charger. Everything you see here is under $50. And what's really nice is the weight. Everything, the flight pack that you saw weighs four grams or about a seventh of an ounce to fly an RC model airplane. So you can see from the website, I bought the package of the transmitter, uh, receiver, the actuators, and battery for under $50. So let's take a look at that here. Um, first of all, let's go over the weight of everything. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the entire flight pack with the motor, receiver, electronic speed control, the battery plugs in here, and the two actuators. Note that the wires are fairly long that go to the actuators. The reason being is... For extreme light weight, what will happen is half the actuator will be connected to the control surface, say the stabilizer, and, and then the other one will be attached to the movable control surface, either the elevator or rudder. There's a little uh, magnet that moves them back and forth. And so you actually install the actuators to the tail and the control through the receiver. So let's take a look at the weight of everything here. I've got a little digital scale here, and I've got it set up in grams. As a reminder, um, 16 ounces equals one pound, so one ounce equals 28 grams. Everything that we're going to see here weighs about four grams. So here is zero grams right here. I'll put on the screwdriver, and that is about eight grams for this little screwdriver right here. When I put everything on the scale to include the battery, everything weighs four grams. So in other words, this flight pack is half the weight of this battery um, that I have in my hand. The other thing you'll see here is the charger for the little battery um, along here. This is a box that the transmitter came in. It's really a pretty nice box. One thing I want to point out on it, it does have some quite useful directions on the back of the bus that you want to hold on to. 
just go over that. It'll tell you how to bind the transmitter, in other words, how to connect the transmitter to the receiver that's necessary for all 2.4 gigahertz uh, transmission systems, how to do channel reverse, mode switching, channel trim, throttle safety, and low voltage. For example, on the low voltage, when the battery voltage drops below 3.8 volts, the LED will flash yellow, just so you know that's happening. It will also have a reminder of some of the basic things on back for binding, which is very important. And you'll see things that they call LB and RB. That's left button and right button. These are the buttons up here. Also, the trims go back and forth, and you can also push the trims to do certain uh, functions to make everything go together. It's just a normal uh, four AA uh, batteries that you'll have to provide going to the back. It's a kind of unique design with the clear plastic. Interesting, never seen that. And then just with your standard um, controls, uh, aileron or rudder, elevator, throttle, and then the, the rudder over here. So the binding is an important thing to do. I've already bonded this, but just let me describe uh, how you do that. What will happen is when you take the battery and you plug it into the receiver, if the receiver does not see the transmitter signal that it's bonded to, after about 10 seconds, the receiver light will flash very quickly, and that means it's in the bind mode. It's looking for a transmitter to um, match up to it, to be bonded to. And the way you do the binding, per the directions, you simply hold down the left button while you turn on the transmitter, and that will electronically bind the uh, system uh, to, the, to the radio. I've already bonded that, so again, it's important when you operate the system, we'll give a demonstration here, you've got to turn on the transmitter first because if you plug it into the receiver first, it may accidentally go into the bind mode. So we'll simply turn this on. We want to make sure the throttle's all the way down so the prop doesn't spin up when you plug it in. Also, everything is so delicate, be very careful how you handle stuff. It can get twisted up. It could get caught in the propeller. You just don't want to do that. Also, there are fairly strong magnets in each of the actuators, so they get too close, the magnets go together, so just something to keep in mind. So this is all spread out. Note also this little wire here is the antenna. So the transmitter's on, and we will plug it in. I keep the writing on the battery top, that little shelf on the bottom, and we'll just carefully plug that in. Notice we get a solid light on the receiver. That means that it is um, binded. And now, if you look at these actuators, I'm going to move them. And do you see how they flap back and forth? So let me hold this just for a second. This portion with the wires connected, this would be the stabilizer. And this is just how the elevator is controlled. It's not really proportional. It goes back and forth. And even though it's not really centered, it, there's nothing holding it back. The idea is the airplane is flying. Just the airstream will keep that centered. And here is the other control, this time for the rudder. And you see how that goes back and forth, just per the stick. So an extremely lightweight, effective. And I'll just hold this, and you'll get an idea of how much thrust is on this. So a small propeller, but it's geared, and we'll see how much thrust that does. Again, to... Um, disconnect it we disconnect this first so it's not looking for the bind signal turn that off and that's how the system works we went through the website earlier it's really a very good website i found it very easy to order from just make sure there's some selections on there whether or not you want sockets for connectors for motors uh two actuators things like that just carefully look at it the only um Consideration, a little bit of a downside. Many of these components are being shipped directly from China. It can take up to two weeks to get your package, but I've made several orders from them. The stuff arrives. Also, when you get the packet, when you get your delivery, it's very carefully packaged. In the case of what you saw here, the battery and charger happen to be in this empty battery case. So when I opened, up, opened that up in the transmitter, everything was in place. So it's a good website. You can order from that. It gets right to your house. They take um, credit cards and so forth. Um, also, another nice thing about Minimum RC, I had a few questions on the BAA Hawk. I sent an email to their support um, email address. They came back to me that night with, with an answer that absolutely helped me out. It had to do with some settings on the transmitter that I hadn't seen before. Everything worked out fine. So I have 
Hey, good experiences with Minimum RC. This is very lightweight of RC gear. I think $50 for a transmitter and a flight pack and a battery is worth consideration. And what I'm going to do next is uh, design a very lightweight bottle to take advantage of this stuff and see how it flies. I don't really have any targets in mind, just as small and as lightweight as possible, and we'll see how that works out. So thanks for tuning in. Look forward to seeing you in future videos.